Persons with disabilities, specifically spinal cord injuries, face a multitude of barriers on a daily basis. These barriers are not just physical in nature, but come in the form of many public misconceptions. Our peer partner team would like to educate individuals on some of these common misconceptions. My name is Kristen, and I'm a peer program coordinator for Spinal Cord Injury Ontario. I work in the Toronto office. My first misconception is dependence. Just because I'm a quadriplegic does not mean I am unable to build a career, drive a car, or live independently. Athleticism. Just because I have a disability does not mean I am unable to achieve high levels of athleticism, competing internationally, and driving to improve every day. Desirability. Just because I have a spinal cord injury does not mean I am less desirable than an able-bodied individual. Desirability is rooted in confidence and my ha me having a spinal cord injury does not take that away. Hello, I'm Ron Reddy. I'm one of the peer program coordinators from the Hamilton region. And I'd like to talk about sex and disability. Sexual desire. Some believe that people with disabilities have no desire to have sex or to be intimate with another person. Myth, sex, or, sex organs do not work. Most people with physical disabilities can experience the same sorts of sensation as the general population. Myth, sex usually hurts. I do not experience pain on a daily basis, so you're not going to cause pain just by touching me. I want to be consensually touched. And if you do something that causes pain, I will tell you politely and ask you to modify. Listening is key. Dating struggles. People often have the preconceived notion that people with physical disabilities are not seen as desirable, attractive, or ideal partners for others. Health. Having a, a disability does not mean a person is not healthy or that he or she cannot be healthy. Being healthy means the same for all of us. Getting and staying well so we can lead full active lives. That means having the tools and information to make healthy choices and knowing how to prevent illnesses. For people with disabilities, it also means knowing that health related issues to disability can be treated. These problems are call also called secondary conditions and they can include pain, depression, and a greater risk for illnesses. To be healthy, people with disabilities require health care that meets their needs as a whole person, not just as a person with a disability. Most people without disabilities can stay healthy by learning about and living healthy lifestyle. Hello, I'm Lubna. I'm the peer program manager with Spinal Cord Injury Ontario, and I work in the Toronto office. Here's a myth I'd like to bust. Not fit to be a parent. Like most parents, we are loving, nurturing, patient, and resourceful. My disability is not my disqualifier. I am a proud mother of two, happy kids, both of whom I've had post my spinal cord injury. Here's another myth that I'd like to bust unemployable. Brilliant, hardworking, qualified co candidates do not deserve to be overlooked. As a person with a disability, I assure you we belong. We belong in front lines, we belong in leadership, and we belong in workforce. Inclusive workforces for the win. I'm Sarah. I'm out of the Barry office. I'm a regional client services assistant and a peer program coordinator. The first myth I would like to bust, I have a disability, therefore I'm always miserable. Sure, I have my down, day, down days, but don't we all? I have two choices. I can choose to be miserable or I can choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. The second one, my legs don't work, therefore the rest of me doesn't either. 
yes, there are parts of me other than my legs that don't work, but that's just a natural part of aging. We all have that. The last myth I'd like to bust is I am my disability. I am not my disability. I am a woman. I am an employee, a daughter, a sister, an aunt, a surrogate to mother to friends, kids, and I am a human being who happens to have a disability. I am not my disability. We support Spinal Cord Injury Ontario and their Rolling Through Barriers campaign. These are myths we like to bust.